So the bodybuilder sort of probably like everyone else, I always looked at Arnold because he was the most known. But then I sort of didn't because Arnold was so much taller than me, and I knew I'd never be that tall. I sort of couldn't really relate to his body type. So I sort of started liking people like Tom Platts, anyone that was sort of freaky, Sergio Oliva, who had the big arms and just that thick, dense looking bird or fox with that thick muscle and. Then I was like, I always liked Tom Platts' legs, I wanted to look like that, but then as things went on, I sort of like Eddie Robinson for his freaky legs and arms, but if I was to say at this day who I liked the most would probably be like, probably Mike Matarazzo's arms and calves because they're so freaky, but yet yeah, one overall would probably be like Paul Dillette, I really like Paul, he's a nice guy, we get on really great, and that's the sort of thing I like, it's sort of sometimes hard for me too because still being young, all these people I compete against now, they were sort of like my heroes and idols I look up to, and then now like, I even told Paul when I do these shows and sometimes I place ahead of him, I feel bad because there's nothing worse than sort of placing ahead of a, someone you've looked up to and sort of, I wouldn't care less if I came 10th to all those guys because I still look up to them because I've always admired them. So if they place ahead of me at every show, I wouldn't care. I'm just happy to compete on the same stage as him or anyone else. So, you know, people always say things about Paul, he's, you know, he hasn't got shape. But when you look at Paul, here's what I think bodybuilders should look like. You know, he's got that freaky cartoon look about him. You know, he's got those, Big shoulders, big arms, tiny waist, huge legs. It's like when I started bodybuilding, that's what I thought bodybuilding should be. And you have all these people saying, well, that's overdone, you know, you shouldn't look like that. You've got to have this pleasing physique. But yet, those people who say that, they're the ones who normally can't achieve it. So that's why they say it. But if anyone had the chance, they'd probably all want to look like that or have that freaky look because that's what we all aim for. When you look at cartoons these days, you look at action figures, they've all got that freaky look about them. That sort of muscles bulging out everywhere, so that's what I hope to achieve myself. I want to. Uh, people say I look like that now, but to me, I'm not satisfied. So as long as I'm not satisfied, that always makes me train harder. So you know, I'm just gonna see what happens. I'm just gonna try to get the freaky look, and 
you know, sometimes when I look at Paul, I think, you know, there's no way I can look like that, but then sometimes I think, hopefully I can, so, you know, I'll see what happens, but they're the sort of people I look up to now, Paul, Mike, Matarazzo, like Aaron Baker's got a great sort of freaky physique, I think, and anyone that's normally freaky with body parts, like, I admire Chris Cormier, Flex Square, but they've got the nice shape and they've got nice muscle mass too, but you know, it's like those, um, the physiques like Flex and them I really admire, but to me, I couldn't ever look like that because I haven't sort of got that body type, so I've always gone after the freaky type, whereas I still respect all those guys for what they've done with their physiques, but me personally, I like the freakier type, so that's why I always try and look like I picture like the cartoon characters or that Max rep you see in the magazine, something like that that looks just that freaky, so when people walk past they sort of stop and look and you know they sort of can't believe what they see so that's what my ideal of a bodybuilder is just that freaky look about them where you can't really believe they don't look human so that's what I want to look like eventually. I've always liked Superman ever since I was little if you can see in this picture here that says Destiny this was me about three years old in a Superman suit so I don't know I've always like you know liked him because I always just liked the strength in that that he had. I've always liked the TV show when it was on the black and white one. So when I came here, there was so much Superman stuff, like the jewelry I've got and different things. I've got like 15 different watches and all the stuff around here. I've probably got thousands of dollars worth of Superman memorabilia downstairs, upstairs, Superman bedspreads, towels, everything. So it's one of those things whenever I go out, I just collect it because I like it. But you know, it's just one of those things I've always liked him from, like the strength in that when I was younger every year. Until I was about 10, I used to have a Superman suit made for me, so I think I'm getting another one made, but it's just a thing from when I was young. Some people like Batman, some like other characters, I always like Superman, so I think it's one of those things where you're young when you think you want to be that strong and you want to fly and do everything else, so oh, well, I don't know, I still just collect it all. When I go out to places, I see it, so I pick it up, and I've got so much Superman clothing and that, so it gets to the point where I'm sort of wondering why I'm collecting. It's one of those things where people say it'll be worth money one day, but it probably worth money when I'm 80 and I can't spend it, so <laughs> I just keep collecting it because I enjoy it, so it's one of those things I just keep doing and spending money and I don't know, I'll be broke but I'll have lots of Superman stuff. <laughs>